Hey, what's up, everyone? How's it going? It's uh, Saturday morning in New York City. <clears throat> it's cold out there, and it's snowing. <clears throat> A lot of snow. Yeah, snow in New York City with graffiti, both during the subway era and the street era. People liked it snowing. I preferred the snow <clears throat> only really with the subways. Because then they would park them subways all over the place, even right here. I wouldn't even have to travel far to ride on trains. <clears throat> like the sixes. And, you know, right up, even up in Harlem there. They had the fours, they had the fives, right up along Harlem on the Lexington line. Or I get on the N and the R, the double R's back then. All the way down from like 57, all the way down to like City Hall. And put the R's. So yeah, winters were good. <clears throat> with the layups, the tunnels. Winters were good. I enjoyed that a lot <clears throat> during the 80s. You get a lot of insides. You know, just be quiet. I wouldn't even get out with the stations. I would just keep going through it, right, through the station and everything. I mean, those are some pretty busy stations. I'd go sometimes Sunday, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. But going right to 49th Street, the fucking platform would be packed with people. But they're not really looking. They might hear a little dingle and dangle or something, a little noise like your chain and the door opening. But I never had problems. <clears throat> I know didn't even think anyone even looked like, oh, what was that? And I've actually went through with one or two other people. Most of my subway training and shit, I did a lot by myself. <clears throat> well, same with the streets, actually, too. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to writing graffiti during the snowstorms in the streets, a lot of people prefer it. <clears throat> to me, I, it didn't really matter. I mean, early on, the streets in the 80s and shit like that, uh, it didn't really matter. <clears throat> Back then, um, we were footing it because we're New Yorkers, Manhattan. Not many of us own a car. It's fucking expensive, parking and all that shit around here. Not many of us own cars. <clears throat> stole a lot of cars, stole a lot of motorcycles. Few people actually owned legally motorcycles. They'd get stolen ones and flip the plates and stuff. But we didn't have cars, so we were pretty much hoofing it. And in the snow, yeah, it's fun, but you know, it's cold out. <clears throat> But in my later years, probably since like 94 or something, I really didn't give a fuck. <clears throat> snow didn't bother. As a matter of fact, I didn't like the snow. Most of my graffiti I would do on my bicycle, so the snow would actually slow me down. And, you know, <clears throat> also, during the snowstorms, my enemies would be out there riding graffiti. When I mean enemies, if you look back, I mean everyone and their mother would be crossing me out. So if I did something around the periods of a snowstorm it would get crossed out because that's the definite day when people who I know don't like me would be going over me. <clears throat> so I honestly avoided snowstorms. <clears throat> I would rather go summer days. I loved it in the summer. It was beautiful. All the beautiful women are walking around. You know, you go ride, you know, my bicycle and shit, go get a little slice of pizza or something, sit there eating it, you know, absorb the day and shit. There's no reason to be fucking trucking around in like fucking freezing weather with a bunch of snow. At least in my eyes, honestly. No reason. But then again, I'm a tagger. I did mostly tags. Just tags. So I'm not sitting there doing a big filling <clears throat> on the side of a building or something. So <clears throat> I really never benefited from the snowstorms, honestly. It, it didn't matter to me <clears throat> if there was a snowstorm or there wasn't a snowstorm. It didn't really matter at all. Honestly, like I said, being on a bicycle for the last 30 something years, probably you figure what the trains 88, 89, so from 99, 89, 99, 2000, 2009, for like the last 30 something years, <clears throat> snowstorm. And that's where the trains ended and I started the streets. I really didn't write much in the streets. I mean, of course, around the neighborhood and shit, you know, you got the little friends and shit, you get a can of spray paint or something, you know, within the neighborhood confines or something like that, yeah, of course, you catch a tag here or there, but I wasn't, like, going out during the train era and hitting streets like that, uh, not until after the trains died, there was no reason, it was kind of stupid, actually, <clears throat> it was almost like how stickers were viewed, like, people putting up stickers, like, what the fuck is that, you know, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I guess that's all I can really say. <clears throat> also, breaking into cars was good with snow. Yeah, stealing out of cars and stealing cars and shit like that. Although in Manhattan, once again, it's a very busy city where I live. 
we weren't big on the stealing cars thing. It's not to say people weren't doing it, but we would go to other boroughs and even up, you know, White Plains and shit like that in Westchester and stuff. If there was a certain make and model that we knew we could make money off of, yes. <coughs> we'd go out of our way to get it. But mainly motorcycles and shit like that, the streets. You know, but it, during this, the winter storms and the snow was good. <coughs> it's like they pile the snow up almost against the car. So you can actually dig a little hole through the snow, like, <laughs> right into the car, yeah. They go, poof, with a little center punch. You climb in there and you should take everything out, go back out. Climb back through your little hole and you made in the snow and shit, for real, like a fucking igloo, man. I, mean, I was talking to D3 about that shit not too long ago, man. Yeah, it's just funny, man. He, he was, um, like, they plow the snow up against the sides of the car. So. <clears throat> Actually, just dig a little hole <laughs> right up to the window <laughs> with the center punch, caving it, and climb in there, and boom, get everything out of that. <laughs> it's funny shit. Yeah, snowstorms, they have their benefits, but I personally, with graffiti, that didn't really bother me any. <clears throat> I, I couldn't see how it would benefit me with tunnels either, really. Writing graffiti in tunnels really didn't matter. Although it's nice and warm in some tunnels, but then again, in some tunnels it's very cold, so if it's cold, I guess if you're writing in tunnels, you just pick a tunnel that's warm. You're writing it, you know, but yeah, uh, snowstorms, graffiti, to me, to me, didn't mean shit. <clears throat> now, like I said, everyone else was running around doing fill-ins and stuff like that, so they would need more time, and they would like the streets to be quieter and people to be busy and shit. So yeah, I could see how a snowstorm would benefit someone who was doing a film. <clears throat> yeah, that is true. Yeah. Um, boy, a lot of benefits would come out of a snowstorm. Well, trains. I mean, if people are hitting trains nowadays, there's definitely trains parked all over the motherfucking place, man. All up and down Manhattan Island, all out through Brooklyn, everywhere. They got to park them in the tunnels to keep them warm. <clears throat> Can't leave them out in the yards. I don't know, even now they got these new trains, who the fuck knows what them things do, man, hey, <laughs> you know, I'm going by old logic, I don't know, maybe these new trains don't have to be in tunnels in the winter, maybe they're just good out there, <sighs> who knows, it might become a track issue also, but too much snow on the track, ice on the track, it's probably easier just to pull them out of a nice tunnel, there's no snow, no ice and shit to worry about, you know, that might be an issue. Yeah. <clears throat> but as far as it goes with the trains, I don't know. They got these new fucking trains now, man. I don't know what the fuck them things do, man. Alright, yo, take care of yourselves, man. Be warm out there. <laughs> yeah, it's cold out here, man. I mean, not brick, brick, fucking cold, but it's cold. I mean, we have some rough winters out here sometimes, you know. It gets wild, man. I mean, it's not like the fucking Antarctic or Canada and shit, but it gets hairy. It gets pretty heavy out here. Hey, what's up, people? <clears throat> I just watched my last video. You know, I do that all the time before I post it. <clears throat> anyway, I um, I noticed when I was talking about riding around on my bicycle in the summer, <clears throat> it sounds like I'm talking about in the daytime. But no, I'm talking about at nighttime. <clears throat> Late at night, I ride around on my bicycle. It's the best time I like to ride graffiti with my tags. Late at night in the summer. Love it. Best. You know, like I said, you got all these pretty women walking around. You got the clubs are letting out and this and that. Well, that's before COVID also, but then again, that's before I got arrested. I was arrested before COVID. I was arrested in 2017. But yeah, that was the best times for me to write graffiti. <clears throat> and like I said, I only do tags. We were running around out there trying to do no filling this fucking hot summer's night, man. <laughs> in the middle of Manhattan. Shit ain't gonna work out for you, man. But yeah, <clears throat> I just wanted to make that clear. I wonder I'll talk about stuff like that. What's up, everybody? Look at all this snow out here, huh? Well, I used to love the snow. With the graffiti. I'll talk about snowstorms today. New York City with the snowstorms.